Hi, this video is based on a Power Automate community thread. It's regarding Microsoft Forms and multiple choices. So the question here is, how can we extract the multiple choice responses and map the values into an Excel sheet? So here is my, here is my Microsoft Form and uh, I have got a text value here, which is name then my second question is multiple choices okay let's start building the flow the first thing i need is the trigger is when a new response is submitted then select my microsoft forms that is sports survey 2023 the next step Again, it's Microsoft Forms. Get response details. Okay, that's the response ID coming from the previous trigger. Yeah, so I'm going to say collect forms responses. Okay, next step I'm going to do is adding a compose and uh, map the multiple choice value. So I'm going to con concentrate here the multiple choice response. So this is my multiple choice question, your favorite sports. Okay, let me save this flow. Right, I'm going to run the flow now. So I'm going to click manually, click test. So flow is going to prepare for the user to submit the form. Okay, it's ready now. Going back to the form now and uh, going to the preview mode. Okay. Okay, I'm going to choose badminton and rugby here. Submit. Here it is, the flow ran successfully and I can see I got those two values. So the question here is how can we get these values and map into an Excel sheet? Yeah. So to do that, what I need to do here is, I'm going to use another data operation here called join. Okay, and here I need to use another expression called JSON. Click on the dynamic values and coming the previous output value. Yeah, that's a compose output. Save that and I'm going to use join with semicolon. So let's run this flow. I'll explain what it's what's happening here. Right, uh, click test, uh, automatically with recent triggers succeeded. That means I don't need to submit another response, yeah? So I'm going to go with the shortcut route. This is quite useful for testing as well. Click test, okay, flow is running now. So you can see here, this is the format I got earlier. This is not really an array format, you know? It's just specific to the Microsoft response format it is for the multiple choice. So here what I got now is I managed to remove the square brackets and I put my delimiter as semicolon. Yeah, you can put delimiter as comma as well. So I just used, uh, you know, semicolon here. You can use any characters here if you want. So next thing what I could do now is I'm going to add another compose here. So we're going to add a couple of compose here. Yeah. Then here I'm going to use another function and to use the split here. Split and click the dynamic coming from the previous output the join that is this join output comma then two single quotes semicolon that's the del delimiter i used in my login in, in my join and uh, click save okay so let me run this again 
So what's happening here now is I'm trying to split uh, that into an array now. So hopefully this is an array now. See that? So because it's an array now, now I can iterate the values quite easily now. So how can we get those values now? So I'm going to add another compose. It is. Then go to the function and dynamic values that is coming from the combos too. So the first array index is always zero. So put question mark square bracket zero. That's all you need to do now to get the first value. Yeah. And if you want to uh, use the second value, I'm just going to copy this. Oops, didn't copy it properly. So uh, let me go back to the dynamic expression. That's compose two we, we want. Compose two, question mark one. So that's the second value. So here it is. So how many values we got here? Let me go back here. We got one, two, three, four here. So what you could do here is, um, so I have got index zero. This is index two and I'm going to add another compose go to the function again so remember compose two is the array so select compose two output here compose two output then question mark that's uh, so this is zero one this is the second uh, third one yeah so remember the array index start with zero yeah so now we got this is zero first value this is a second value second selection whatever it is and this is the third selection yeah so so i got one two three now and finally what i could do now is i could add another compose here And change this to three now so here it is so now I'm going to click the test the last is succeeded click run and uh, we should be able to see the first two values now so this is an array so first value is badminton second second one is rugby here it is the badminton here and compose four we got rugby here rest of the values are blank now so it's not being selected here it is so this is the way you can extract you know each values so if you want to map this into an excel sheet then what you need to do here is uh, you know you can directly use uh, these expressions there actually to map the values into the relevant um, columns okay um, so i'm not going to add a you know uh, the excel connector here uh, you know so because i already shown the technique here how to extract the values using the uh, expressions so overall what we did is we collected the response the next thing is i use the join convert the json uh, you know the convert that text of, uh, values into the json format with the delimiter using semicolon and uh, then i use that split uh, use the use the semicolon as the delimiter so that means i can get that into a whole array once that array is there then i can iterate using the index which is the index start with starts with zero so that is zero then is this is zero one this is one and then it's two and it's three then yeah remember to use the uh, the the question mark if you don't use the question mark then it expects that value there so it it might fail if you don't have it so let's run this and see that so i know i don't have uh, the fourth value there uh, the combos for only first two values i got um, let me check no this is a array and this one two third one yeah the combos five one here so let me select the combos five again here and i'm going to remove the question mark here okay and click save so here see it's i removed the question mark there so what happens here is i'm going to run it again see flow failed because it expect that value there if um, if the value is 
is not there we don't know because it's a multi choice it's always better to use the question mark in my design i always use the question mark then i don't need to worry about those uh, the exceptions then and uh, if it's not there you know it will be blank then that's it so i'm going to run it again and uh, test now i put the question mark back back again so let me run this again here we go so combos three i got badminton combos four i got rugby combos five it's blank since it just click to download it's nothing there actually if you click it it's nothing there it's blank there actually and uh, combo six again it's blank so that's a technique you need to use to extract the values for from the microsoft microsoft forms multiple choice responses hope this is useful thank you for watching